Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello brothers and sisters, I am Daud Kim. Nowadays, I'm studying Islam with Imam Abdullah Al-Khuri, but the video was quite long, so I wanted to make short video, so I turned on the camera. Uh, I think it's really good for me too because I can do review for this. So today we are going to talk about what is the meaning of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Actually, every Muslim know about this sentence very well, but there is the deeper meaning than we might think. So I'm going to talk about this today. First, La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. It's simple, but there is more. Uh, Imam told me the important point is there is no worthy of worship except Allah. You know, like, Satan also know that there's only one God. But Satan doesn't truly worship Allah. That's a big difference. A true Muslim only believe and worship only one God, Allah. There is no worthy of worship except Allah. So nothing can be worshipped whether it is humans, animals, idols, actors, or star, whatever. Allah is the only one who has the right to be worshipped. We should worship only one Allah with love, fear, and praise of Allah. We should be humble and obey to Allah, fear Allah, trust Allah, and only pray and ask for help to Allah. According to Hadith, if you beg, beg of Allah alone, and if you need assistance, supplicate to Allah alone for help. Only Allah guides us. If we only remember Allah, Allah protects us. And if we have anything to ask, we should ask for Allah only. This is the true Tawhid. We only worship Allah, we only ask for help to Allah. We only pray for Allah, guide us to the right path. So, so worship Allah alone and associate none with Him. Worship alone with no partner or associate. And also there are more meaning in Muhammad Rasulullah too. He's the messenger of God. But there are more. Not only we believe that he is the messenger of Allah, but also we must follow what he commanded and avoid what he forbids. We must worship Allah as he told us according to Sharia, the Islamic law that Allah sent to him. He was sent for all human beings for all genders and races, so we must follow the message of him. Prophet Muhammad He is not only a messenger, but the best role model Allah sends. The more we follow his sunnah, the closer we are to Jannah. So just believing that he is a messenger of Allah is not enough. The real meaning of Muhammad Rasulullah is to follow and obey his message completely. We shouldn't do bida. The act of creating something new in Islam is the opposite of this. What we must follow is the Quran and Sunnah. Do not follow someone else or like your own thoughts. That's not Islam. Okay, so I'm done today. Uh, actually, I didn't know that there was such a deep meaning of Shahada. But after knowing the meaning, I felt that I know Islam more deeply and felt closer to Allah. So thank you for teaching me, Abdullah al Qori. And for more details, please check the true meaning of Islam video in my channel. Then thank you for watching my video. May Allah bless you. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Maasalamah.